Hello students, this is K.M. Varaprasad, Head of uh, Computer Science and Engineering Department, DBSIT, Kavali. <coughs> Here, we are in the Computer Organization subject and uh, in the Unit 5. That is, in that Unit 5, two chapters are there. Now, we are in the first chapter, Pipelining. Before going to the pipelining, we will discuss some of the fundamentals which are comes in the unit 2. That is basic processing or fundamental processing. Now coming to the fundamental processing or fundamental processor. Here the first concept here is register transfer or register transfer language. Here, some set of uh, micro operations are there and then the collection of micro operations will form an instruction and the collection of instructions will form a program. One instruction is executed by using the following steps. The first one is fetch the instruction and decode the instruction whenever that instruction requires some set of operands addressing modes are used to access the instruction and then finally execution of the instruction now these are the things we are following for especially for the instruction purpose here some operation is performed on the register is called as micro operation something we are transferring from one register to the another that is called as register transfer. Some arrow mark is used to one arrow mark that is moving left side is used to transfer some information from one register to the another register. Here comes another some fundamental topics. Two types of things are there for controlling the sequence of execution those are hardware control and then micro programmed control coming to the hardware control in hardware control we are using combinational circuits like registers or decoders and some set of conditional things we are using by using combinational circuits like registers and decoders we are forming the control we are initiating the set of instructions now that is about the hardwired control in hardwired control we are using combinational circuits now coming to the micro programmed control in this one the control is initiated by using the programs what is actually the program means here some set of micro operations will form the instruction this is some cycle is there for an every instruction this cycle can execute starting from the fetching as well as and completion of the execution this is the instruction cycle by using software or software initiation the program is completely executed now these are the two very very important things but the one is hardware control which requires some set of uh, hardware devices to initiate the process and the second one is micro programmed control micro programmed control in this one the programs are used to initiate the instruction sequence coming to the present topic that is pipelining this is the chapter one of the unit five in this one what is actually the pipelining means some sequence of operations that is pipeline these sequence of operations are performed concurrently in different cycles what is actually the concurrent execution will improve the performance of the program execution as well as processor here already we discussed about what are actually the things we are performing in the basics of the pipelining is every instruction is fetched from the memory and then sorted it into the instruction registers 
decoded there and then executed and finally the writing is also performed that is display these are the operations sequentially performed for every instructions for every instruction different types of life cycles are there for example we are taking two instructions are there normally they are executed alike fetch and execute and the fetch and execute serially if we are using pipelining concept first one one is fetched and then that is given to the buffer the buffer is maintained in between fetch and decode instructions the following diagrams will show about all the things now here comes the basic concept this is the sequential execution of instructions i1 i2 and i3 here this is fetch fetch one and then execution fetching and then execution fetching and then execution and so on this is the serial execution now this is about the hardware organization of the pipelining in this one the first one is instruction fetch unit and then this is the execution unit in between this one one buffer is there that is inter stage buffer is there in first cycle it will fetch the instruction and it is stored in this one in the second cycle this is used to execute that one this is very very important for the performance of the pipelining process and finally comes to the pipeline to execution here clock cycle is there this is 1 2 3 4 and this is here is one clock cycle clock cycle one clock cycle is required to execute every instruction or fetch every instruction now coming to this one these are the three different types of instructions here it starts fetching the first instruction in this life cycle or in this clock cycle and then coming to the next clock cycle this is in the execution and this is in the fetching and coming to this life cycle this is all completed and then coming to this one this is in the execution and this is in the fetching and finally in the clock cycle 4 this completes the execution that is instruction 3 completes the execution this is a very very important pipeline or execution which improves the performance of the processor as well as some computer now coming to this diagram in the previous diagram only two things we are performing those things are not sufficient to execute an instruction here four things are there or four cycles or four phases are there one is fetching decoding execution and writing now here comes the clock cycle and these are the some set of instructions four instructions are there now these are the same thing here in the first one fetching is there decoding is there here the fetching is there here comes this one one instruction is in the execution and another one is instruction is in the decoding and another instruction is in the fetching stage now by this way we can improve the performance of the processor this is the hardware organization of the pipelining process which contains fetching decoding execution and writing here the role of cache memory is very very important why it is important means the cache memory speed is very high compared to the remaining primary memories the cache memory is available in the processor itself means it is very useful compared to the remaining things here uh, we finished the first concept that is the basic concepts and uh, what is actually the role of the cache memory in the pipelining process coming to the second topic here is data hazards what is actually a data hazard means a data hazard is a situation in which the pipeline is stalled because the data to be operated on are delayed for some reason now how it is delayed means 
the data is accepted or performed on quickly accessed from the cache memory or it is accessed from the primary memory so that the data is some delayed at that time it is stalled what is actually the stalling means the process is postponed any process that is fetching or the decoding or anything is postponed to the next cycle or a different type of cycles that is called as stalling now here comes the example for the data hazards here a is equal to 3 plus a and b is equal to 4 into a when these operators are performed in the order given the result is b is equal to 32 but if they are performed concurrently the value of a is used will be 5 leading to an incorrect results coming to this example if these are executed concurrently there is no problem at all because here only one variable is used in the right side that is a c now you can, we can execute concurrently these instructions coming to the third topic here is instruction hazards here also the same thing sometimes instructions are also delayed due to the cache memory as well as due to the primary memory at that time the instruction hazards are occurred now coming to the last topic in this chapter is influence on instruction sets now what is actually the influence on instruction sets means some different types of uh, processors contain or languages to contain different types of instruction sets and different types of addressing modes and then different types of condition codes in those addressing comes to the addressing modes these will provide a means of accessing a variety of data structures simply or efficiently here <coughs> comes to the addressing modes include indexed addressing modes are there indirect addressing modes are there and auto increment as well as auto decrement in these addressing modes main influence is there to insert uh, for the instruction sets coming to the condition codes the condition code flags are stored in the processor status registers by using either 8 bit as well as 16 bits they are used to provide flexibility in reordering the instructions now <clears throat> here they are also used in such a way that the compiler should be able to specify in which instructions of a program the condition codes are affected and in which they are not and finally an instruction set designed with pipelining in mind is usually provides the desired flexibility so here uh, we completed chapter 1 of the unit 5 it is pipelining in the examination part of also it is very very important concept that is pipelining in this one how the pipelining is uh, improves, improved the performance as well as what are the different types of hazards and then how the instructions are influenced by the pipelining process these are the concepts we discussed now coming to the lockdown stay home and stay safe thank you